What's good friends, we are here with more OST, this is round 6, Gondor versus Mazar, and I have uh, Avon in the call. Yo, so that's the, isn't that the, uh, Mazar is using the NJMP team, I think, from the sample team's thread. And he played Gengar with the ninja, right? Yeah, here, let me go look it up. Let me see if the dimensions are fine. Yeah, it should be good. So maybe it's a different team if, it, if there's a different mod, but... So you think it's uh, Rocks Clef and Spikes Pharaoh and Double Lens Lando? Uh, yeah, I don't really see a point of using Clef without it being Rocks. I mean, obviously, I'm sure Combine and stuff is still good, but I feel like that's like really the best thing it can do. Yeah, so the yeah, okay. so on the on the NJMP team, it was just like four attacks ninja. So I mean, like Gengar could fit over that somehow but yeah I would think it would be rocks Clef, spikes ninja scarf kill you think Gondor has been training in the mountains with Amazar has been training in the mountains with T and brings HP fire mana gross <laughs> 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 just kidding so you don't want to stay in here on a gang shot the good ninja could go for spikes yeah I'd, I'd probably spike here if I was Gondor if he is not Ash. He's probably going to kill you or... Okay, Scarf Oof. maybe. Scarf Ninja? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, I guess that kind of needs to be the Scarfer, I guess. Unless it's like Rocks Clef, Scarf Lando. Maybe he didn't want to beat Nido King predicting a Lando slash Metagross lead. Yeah, or maybe, like, do they run Gunk on Scarf? I'm not really sure. Over Ninja, um, the NJMP set is like U-turn, Rock Sled, Spikes, and I think... I think Gunk Shot, yeah, but I'm not sure. Maybe the Cyber Pump. He doesn't have a good switch and he can try to pivot into Yeah, I mean, this, I mean it depends what the set is. Like, if it's substituted, basically he gets a kill. Or at I mean, a huge hit yeah. I mean, he kind of needs the fire coverage because, like, looking at this team, like, Pharaoh just, like, walls it to death. Unless he's HP fire, Greninja, HP uh, flamethrower, yeah. Clef. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, if, if he's, like, SD Lando, he could break through it too, but... I mean, I don't think it's, like, really going to be sub. I think four attacks would work better on this team. Okay, okay. I did a ton. So now he could go kill you. Yeah, he didn't really have a switch in at all for that. I mean, if I'm, if I'm gone, try just earth power again, I guess. He's probably second to Pharaoh, yeah. I don't think he's going hard kill, yo. Yeah. Like, he can get up a spike if he goes for off power again, or... A yeah. I, I assume it's Defog Sizz, because, like, Hazard's kind of wreck his team, so... It is Defog, but... If he gets up a spike, he can play, like... In the sense Aggressive. that he doesn't let the... Sizz are Defog. I mean, I, but, I mean, I guess, but he doesn't really have, like... Like, Sizz takes anyone hit from basically everything. Yeah. Yeah, and even if it's flamethrower cleft, it's faster than that. And it also doesn't kill. I mean, I guess you could, like, pressure the shit out of him with, like, if it's, like, spec scar or something. I mean, Ferrosan was kind of nice to have for the Greninja if it's... not HP fire Greninja. Yeah. I mean, he just didn't really have any switch-ins for this, which is why, like, U-Turn was such a, like, fine play, because... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would I think that was the best thing, to just get off damage. I'm not sure if it's worth it to keep this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because, like, without life up, Kaldio only takes maybe 50 for mouth power. Yeah, I, I think just sacking it there was probably the best play. The only problem is, I get well. I guess now he's in Gengar range if it's specs. So that's and he doesn't really have a specs Gengar switch in. So, um, 
I guess if it's also like Z move Gengar, that could also work. But but it's I would guess that it's Z move Lando because basically has to be. So you think the Cali and the Gengar are both choice? Uh, you can run like obviously like it depends on like what the Lando is. I was the uh, the Keldeo is definitely Scarf. I like I never see live up Gengar anymore. I only yeah. see specs of Scarf or Z move. Yeah, like it could be like Z move. Like I don't know. It, like hypothetically, it could be like Z move Taunt with like Earthplate Lando or something. But okay, so the, it, him not going to Gengar makes me think it's like not specs. Can I ask the double um? Yeah, I'm on that tank. This Z fly land, we could go land though, but. The Clef could also switch in because I don't think it's back scale anymore. Yeah, like, Clef is only one for like Feromosa, and Feromosa is, I think, still allowed in OST, so that makes some sense yeah. that they both have a Clef. Yeah. And it's run to get lap rocks versus stall, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Like a lot, like especially like. I mean, I, I like like with both the land, I was like getting up rocks or stall. Like if they're the Z move set, that's like huge. The Nidoking King only outspeeds the Clef, and. Yeah, that's it. So you can suck it. I mean, yeah, it's not that useful, but I guess he still gets like a hard hit off on something ah. with every, every time mean, the cleft comes in. That's why I think Mazar's like it's like really risky for Mazar to double because yeah, like him, him, like him staying in here and like predicting a double like is not an insane play at all because the tang is so obvious and and Mazar loses so much momentum from the tang coming in. Like he has two potential switch ins and he doesn't need the Nido King, so he can maybe stay in and then. Yeah, especially because like, like like the things Mazar would double too. I guess like it would have to, unless it's like Sky Strike Lando or something. It'd be have to be like the Gross or the Gar. Again, so the Earth, most Earth Power just bops them. If Gengar still have I mean, Levitate, maybe that would be a okay double. Yeah, yeah, that would be for sure. But yeah, that would, so yeah, I think Mazar, Mazar kind of had to make that play just because he like basically like needs both Gengar and Gross. So Scald still having that factor like an Auras where you just spam it going for the burn because in case he goes yeah. Tangros at least you can get the burns with so you get something out of the turn. So it's gonna I just, rocks. I, yeah, he's or. Could also I mean, be I guess you just. I mean, you could go to Gar here. I guess I don't. I, th I assume the Clef is just getting up rocks. Because like the thing is like going at Gross. Like I guess, like it doesn't really get you that far. But Gondor looks it, super weak to Sizzle. I think there's Flames Rock Clef. Oh wow, he has T Wave. Wow. It's not that good anymore because it only halves the speed, like on Clefable. So you basically, I think you have to run some speed on Clef to outspeed some the things that you T-wave, like the really fast and, ones. And the, isn't it like what, is it 80 or 90 accuracy now? I think 90. Oh, <laughs> it's done the way. That's it. I wonder what set this is because like, if it's... I, I was I guess it's like I, I still think the Lando is for sure the Z move just because otherwise he's like so weak to stall. I mean I guess it could be like Smackdown Earthblade or Lando can like. also be um Rock Z move without double dance, but it, yeah. But his team is kind of slow besides the Greninja, so the Rock Pulse makes sense. I I'm not sure what that what that damage is. Like I've used Specs car a lot, but I guess if that's offensive window, then that's definitely not yeah, Specs. Yeah, it doesn't look like Specs. Like I get like it could be like Spooky Plate Taunt too. I guess. So if it's not Rock's Clef, 
like the opposing liner can just come in here depending on the set oh Kelio could come in I guess how okay, Kelio well, would have been nice there yeah yeah I, f I feel like Kel was probably the play just because it's like like you don't really need help on it I don't think that much like he wasn't going for Z move at that turn and yeah, it's more likely I mean, I guess he didn't want to take the EQ with killed, but like he was, I feel like he was for sure either rocking or, um, like setting up. Like he wasn't gonna go for skies, like he's probably the Z crush for Skarmory. Yeah, so yeah, Kelly exactly. So was fine, even if he went for that. No. So especially like he was probably like SDing, assuming the other Lando yeah, was okay. coming in. Oh, oh. it's. Oh, so it's probably it's probably Earth sub plate? smackdown. Oh. Yeah, sub smackdown earthplate. So he cannot kill this then. The opposing them in one hit, unless he's random disease sky strike. It, the, wait, doesn't the plus one uh, stone edge Z stone edge doesn't kill offensive Lando? I thought it was um, smackdown with earthplate. Oh, right, 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 right. That's what I was saying. But yeah. Oh, it's a it's a red oh, scarf. I said. Oh wow! Oh, so it is. Uh, wow, it's sub SD Continental Crush to block the Skarm counter, <laughs> I guess. Chib. So his HPI is probably on the opposing land with rocks. Wait, no rocks were on Clef. My bad, my bad. So HPI is off quick. Protect. So it's just yeah. So it's just like protect. I I'd probably say it's just like protect U turn, with HPI and. Earthquake. Um, I don't know if he wants to go. Kelly on save this. Yeah. Um, a bit risky. I mean, what is it? I guess it's uh, like, what is it really doing? Oh, the landers doesn't do much. It doesn't even get helmet off on scissor because it's left over. Yeah. And I can't like it's not like it can it loses to like all those things one v one so. So this could be a roll. Oh wait, or it is dodge. Dodge as it works. Damn, now this thing's about to be healthy as hell. Like you can still just sack this now to the Greninja or whatever he sends out. Like, I guess he's going scissor on defogging here. Yeah, that that's pretty fair. Or go to, like, Tang, I guess, but... He didn't even see that the Z-move crit because it did so little damage. This looks so RS besides the... I know, it really does. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> it looks like something ABI was used the Gundra team with like just put a magnus on over the Ninja. Oh yeah, the mag, the mag sub, <laughs> Nido King team. That team was cool. Damn, was Mazar in the chat again? <laughs> Last time he was posting songs in SBL. So I guess he just like what what is this doing? Like is this the rocker? Yeah, okay, so it's rocks T wave moon blows soft oil. Like the see like now he like like this Lando is about to get so healthy because he has to like soft boil back up a bunch of times. If he wants it's gonna to. be at like seventy soon. And he's like risking crits for a bit. The Tang Rose. If, if like the Gengar is choice locked, I feel like the Tang Rose pretty much. Who, who is it like Ray Scarface who's been preaching like leftovers? Uh, 
Lando. Yeah, but I'm not sure if he was like trying to troll them or if he actually thinks it's the but, best like, Lando. It, it, honestly, like in, in this game, like it has kind of been pretty huge for Mazar. Like I've like, tried honestly, it a few like, times and. I like, think about like if he was helmet right here, like. Yeah, he would have been pretty much. How dead. low he would be? He would be at twenty or something or thirty. Probably twenty. Like when I tried it, it was really nice because you can like check Mega Marvel a bit better. Mhm. Mm like Landers. And like those things that like come in just to like sort of like where you don't beat it, but it doesn't beat you. Like something like a Tang, or like like it's just going in to like sponge the hit and force you out. Yeah, like a Tang. Can... A Tang that doesn't have HPIs doesn't. The like Gigillion doesn't do much if you have Leftovers Plus Protect. Like Landris is doesn't one of these mods that you slap on your team and it has to check like a lot of the matter, so Yeah. It's nice to have a way to keep it kind of healthy. So he's self boiling one more time. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Like I was thinking Tangles pretty much has this game locked up besides um The si I mean that's the scissors defog, like which it should be in my opinion. Um, Besides like it's, left the clef, the clef could be a bit annoying if it's like the, if the but if the scissors SD, it's a pretty big threat. Never mind, Mazar's clef was rock, so it's not common. I've never seen common clef in Oris, uh in Sun Moon. So what do you, do you go do you go sis here? Yeah, I think he might double the Keldio on the scissor. All right. You might just softball it and hoping for a para, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I don't you know if a sludge rope even kills. There's always A V Tang if he brings this in wow. or give it. Okay. okay, he just saw he wasn't I guess he knew he wasn't sludge raving because he has a scissor, I guess. I, I think I would have always sludge labor just because it's like the si the si like shadow ball's like gonna be a snack for a sizz too, so it's like hmm. I mean, it wasn't Mega Evolved, so it would have done. Oh, that's like, true, but it but doesn't it outspeed because you're paired? It does outspeed. It would have done like half with rocks, maybe, maybe a bit over half even. I mean, ha wait, have we even seen the Kelp set? Maybe it's Scarf Gar. Actually, who knows? Ooh, that lift on two percent. Yeah, I see. Oh. So now the Tangus is gone. Uh oh. And we see it's um the Z move Gengar. It's a, yeah, taunt three attacks. That's a cool set to learn tanks. Cause he buffed Scarf. Okay, now he could- Why didn't he go scissor that turn? I guess he thought it was choice? Oh, he... See, I would- I feel- I mean, I guess like he would have risked- He would have had to like, take the Shadow Ball, maybe it- Maybe he was Shadow Balling cause he was uh... So then he could like put the scissor in like Z Shadow Ball range or something. Yeah. Cause otherwise I think, um, I would have sludged wave there, but... So now this is just what, oh, how he risked the uh, Well, what, I thought, like, I was like, what, did, did he I mean, I guess, kill? Because he didn't have resisted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's stabbed that one, it's a Gengar. But, um, I don't know, but, like, uh, why not just, like, another move, I guess? Like, yeah. I mean, I guess, like, this... Like, ABR says, like, I think the scissor still wins if it's not, like, HP fire killed you or flamethrower clef. I like, mean, doesn't he, doesn't... Oh, Kelly has Skull, but it has to hope for a burn to beat Scizor. Well. Yeah. And I guess it, like, what's the... What's the spread on, like, is, I guess it's probably more of a... At least have some Spadef on the Clef, because it's Magic Guard, and I don't know where... Uh, right? I've seen Ricardo run, like, bold, with, like, 76 Spadef, and the rest in defense, I think. Yeah, like, 144, 70, 184, I mean, 76, or whatever the spread is, something like that. Yeah, if I'm oh, so it, it is a lot of sense, so Scissor doesn't just win if he sends this Yeah. Oh yeah, Flamzor is also for opposing Metagross that like to switch in on Clev. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Flamethrower Clef's really nice. If it wasn't for all the terrains, I feel like Clef was, would have been a bit better still in this matter. Like, Tapu Kogo Electric Turn makes it so Clef can't really check that reliable. Ch yeah, like, especially with, like, just all the strong, like, the stronger special attackers, like Lele and 
uh, Coco and Mosa, and even like stuff like Feeny, like Feeny was getting spammed, like they just nature's madness and taunt you, which like prevents the cleft from like checking, like like being a blanket check for so much. Yeah, and Misty Terrain from the Feeny makes it so you can't spam T wave. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like it's niche is really just like being like a good like good rocker right now. So if the scissor is these tries, it's kinda over. Like okay, didn't have his D's D fog U turn. Yeah, okay, yeah, he was obviously D fog, I don't know why I said it was SD. <laughs> D fog U turn Ruse bullet punch. I saw Banger use like knockoff scissor, I forgot what the other moves were. Oh yeah, on his on his like semi stall team stall team thing, yeah. it was like not. It was just like knock. Uh, he did he? For, I think he forgot here. Let me check. I think he like. That's probably to help with opposing stall. Maybe get rid of some items. Yeah, it was, it was uh, just like he dropped defog, and had defog on scorn. And so, so it's just like three attacks roost. Land isn't really doing much. I feel like he can sack this now. Mhm, mm I agree. Like, you can't even go hard kill you, but that would. <laughs> there's no point. I mean, I guess you can, like, save it for, like, this set, like, the U turn on Sizz as a sack, but it's, like. This gets frozen? Okay. <laughs> I mean, the cle like, they're. Uh, the clef's are, like, full now, so it's, like. Like, I guess you can moonblast it, but it's, like, that's not even doing that much for you, because it's just gonna recover it off. U turn is yeah, kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, double, double the. Like I feel like you just. Wait, what? On Scarf Greninja, U turn is kind of weird because, like, Protein Greninja. You, you kind of have the options to run the exact cover coverage that you need, so. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is like Mazar just needs to keep on getting in it in his ah, gross on the. I guess you can make some. You can make some sense because he has U turn on. Um, on Landris, on Scizor, and on Greninja, so he wants to bring his Nidoking King in. Yeah. As many times as possible. So. Mm hmm. So, Metagross showing why it might get a suspect soon with that Meteor Mesh boost there. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is the problem I feel with, like, Defog Sizz, is they, like, one of you had to U turn out into something else to, like, get real damage on it. Yeah. Not, oh, it's just all it is. Oh, well, it's not Defog. Wow. It's not revealed yet. Unless he doesn't have bullet punch, that's not a set without bullet punch. So you can ruse one more time and then you can start like bullet punching. Or SD again. Yeah, I... I guess SD again to do more damage to Kalio. Mm hmm Would you mash here or like maybe go hard Kaldio on, on a predicted roost or if something? He has HP fire, he can go Kaldio, but I don't think he has it. Well, I mean, I don't think, I don't think Gondra oh. can... Oh wow, he got the second boost. So um, but I, I, like, Gondra couldn't really, like, risk the burn, I don't think, like, if he went hard killed on a roost, because, like, then you just lose to the gross, really, if he gets enough boosts. And, like, that you get so much more opportunity to boost on a burn, says. Hmm. Or, get, try to fish for the boost, not roost, I think I said that. Yeah, this is where having back by would be huge, because that would do, like, a lot more. And you wouldn't wow, be forced that, to switch out. Never mind, you can't even roost that off anymore. Yeah. <laughs> SD Metagross, P2 in the chat. Well, I guess, I mean, what it, what's, it depends on what the coverage is on the ninja. Because he, like, he, what does U turn do here? Like 40 ish? Like 35, 40? Ooh, I'm not actually sure. Oh, wow. Well, okay, so it's like rolls and. It was a max roll of 51. Do you, do you still spam uh, EQ or do you try to, I guess you could go, like, getting the crit is, like, enough, so I guess, like, like... At this point, he's in with the meta and he got the boost, so he's definitely not switching out. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about switching out, I'm talking about, like, would you, like, try to get another boost, or would you just, like, keep on... S yeah, try to get a boost, but you can also miss. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, I just spam, keep on spamming EQ, because, like, the crit chance is... Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, the wow, that did 55. Considering Metagross is like 145 defense or something like that. Yeah. So now it just that's just dice to anything. Like Hydro. 
I guess he has the hydro. I because he's probably a rock slide, right? Um, yeah, he's super weak to Zard boy. And Volcarona, yeah, yeah, rock slide for Volcarona, yeah. Oof. Yeah, that was good for him that he switched out there. Yeah. Oh, it's 150 defense Mega Metal Gross, wow. Yeah. Said 145. Yeah, but now, yeah, now he's gonna run, he's gonna run out of Hydros. Cause like... I mean, I guess the Sizz can wall the Gross now, but like... So the Clef is like, how healthy is the Clef? Let's see, is it full? Yeah, so he... What, do you double the Gross here? Yeah, but... If you double the Metagross, we predicted oh, the double. Oh, you did predict the double, yeah. If you double the Metagross, um, Oof. yeah, that would have been a hard play. Because the scissor was so low. If the scissor was at full... I mean, I mean, getting because getting damage on the Keld is is actually really nice for Gondra, too. If the scissor was still at full, I think he wouldn't have made that made that play. But the scissor was like at the point where it couldn't really switch into Metagross, so we kind of had to... Yeah, but I mean, getting damage on the Keld is fine, too, because it just mm. helps scissors sweep. Yeah, that sucks. Because it probably would have been in plus, no. plus four bullet plus, punch. Yeah, probably. If you hit again, it's called and kill you. I invented that ABR. <laughs> so he basically has to bank on soloing with scissor now, because as soon as the Metagross comes in, this Clef. I mean, I mean, yeah. Clef can dodge and mash, but. But I mean, he real he really can like like Cleffens is kind of just solo the whole team unless like, well I guess how much no at, does do two EQs kill yeah. But the scissor can't switch in so. Yeah exactly. And if the Kelly gets one burn, it's over too, and he probably gets like two or three chances to get the burn, maybe even more. I think he gets three chances for sure. I mean, it's gonna be really close because like he you. Uh, I mean, I guess he just like kills the cleft with the gross, and then he just like he just like you hard out to Keld. Dang, this is still game one, taking forever. This series probably. Yeah. Someone brings stall game two. Oh, R. P. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow, that was an insane play. So why now he's just even, going why, for wait, boost with mash on the scissor. Actually, this is a transmission. Wait, why do you why do you do that though? Why do you even need that clef? Like, because now if you miss like it before, if he didn't, if he just waited, then you get two chances. I guess not. He doesn't need it, but yeah, well, yeah, he did. Wait, the clef. Like, cause if you, yeah, I know. So if he just sacked the clef here, did not that give him room to like miss with meteor mash? Uh, yeah, like, but he would have gone T wave if he misses. Oh, that's true. I mean, maybe he's thinking if I miss a mash, I still have my own clef to like pee pee stall his clef. I don't know. Because Moonblast kills from this range, yeah, is it did 15. Yeah, so I mean. So he's sacking the clef, then he's going. S if, as long as the mash hits, and then he's going scissor and roosting. It's and then he's probably going hard Kelly on the scissor, going for scissor. This yeah, it, wait, is this in BP range? Gross, probably not. I assume it's like, like I BP is like 10 maybe. Yeah. I don't know why it's taking so long. I don't think he has a different play besides staying in and taking this. Where's my charger? My computer is kind of low. Oh, someone thought it was SPL, why is Mazza playing Oh, you. 
Ooh, X. Yeah. Well. I mean, he got he got some some hacks in his favor before that, but uh, this that hack sucks. was huge. That really sucks. Maybe because like, uh, that's really shitty. I mean, he didn't. He didn't one hundred percent win, but that sucks a lot. Yeah, I mean, he had, yeah, but it like, I don't know, he had to avoid like a couple birds. But I, I guess it depends how much a plus 4 BP does. If a plus 4 BP does 60, he only needed to dodge like 2, but. I really don't know if that does 60. Yeah, someone just called in another room, so I was like, "Oh yeah, I didn't yeah, pay yeah, attention." Yeah. What did you say? I said like, like, uh, like Mazar was still in a much better position because like I don't know how much does a plus four BP do, but I don't think it does sixty. Maybe yeah, ABS like, said he would have had to avoid two skull burns. But when he have to avoid more, if like, like I don't know his spread, so it's hard to know. But I mean, since he missed, since he missed the hydro pump on the kill deal, he probably had. To had even three or four chances. I don't know if you should add other people to the call. Mans are wild. <laughs> so yeah, this is the best of three. I can't really pause it because I'm on OBS, so I hope this starts soon with game two. Like Skull does like oh, how much does this is or thirty five? All right, so the I'm I'm oh fuck wait hold on. Oh yeah, Mirza also got me medium mesh boosts earlier to put him in a good position. I'm pretty sure you need if he if he was like no attack is he needed to be like plus six to kill a Keld from sixty one. I mean, most of these days just run. I mean, I guess I guess he could just like. No attack. Like, I guess you could just, like, uh, BP twice from plus two, so. Hmm. Yeah, BPing twice from plus two would be the play. I might have to go, um, run upstairs, because I think I have my charger upstairs. F. No, I guess I will just upload game one and I will pause the recording and we will back we will be back with game two. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Let me run See real quick and get my charger. Thanks for Evan. Thanks Evan for being <laughs> my guest. <laughs> my English is coming to an end with God.